All right guys, welcome back to another exercise execution video. Today I'm taking you through the seated barbell shoulder press. So, first of all, you've set up your adjustable bench inside the cage. Preferably, if it wasn't for this video, it would be inside the cage. So if all does go wrong, the safety bars are gonna catch the bar. So, when I'm set up, feet nice and flat, nice and strong. Um, I'm pressing through the ground throughout this movement to create stability. Then I lay back, get into my start position. I'll roll back as if I'm doing a back exercise. That's going to create a nice stable base against the back of the bench. Then I'm going to pick my bar grip, um, which is about inside of the ring for me. Um, so that's just outside the shoulder width apart, really, wherever it feels most comfortable for you. And lastly, with the upper arm, a lot of people flare out far too wide on presses. What you want to do is, you don't want to come in narrow like a narrow grip press, you want to come in about 45 degrees. So not flare out there, not all the way in there, just about there, where it feels most comfortable for you. So, we get in that position again, set up, grab the bar, and then slowly control the eccentric on the way down, come down to about the chin height, and then drive back up. So I'm feeling that all the way down now, slow, and then drive back up. The reason you don't want to come all the way down is because that's moving into passive range, um, and you're not in control of that, and certainly not hitting that where you want it to be on, to, on the delt. So, um, yeah, if you haven't seen that video, check out Active and Passive Range, it will explain all about it um, and why you don't want to go into those ranges where you're not in control. So I hope this video helps and I'll see you soon.